Welcome to the video. I hope this video is finding you guys happy and healthy. I am about to head to Costco for a much needed Costco trip. We like have no food. So this is going to be a really big Costco trip. I am so excited. I love going to Costco. As you guys know, one of my favorite stores to go to for grocery shopping. You can buy a lot of things in bulk, obviously at Costco, but at such good prices, lots of organic items, lots of healthy items. So very excited to go to Costco. I'm going to take you guys with me and I'm going to show you everything that I see that's cool at Costco that I'm interested in, but I'm going to focus this video on everything that's my favorite at Costco, like what I go to Costco for for my staple items. So I guess you could call this video like a favorites Costco video. I'm also going to try to focus on the prices. So I'll try to focus my camera on the price tags of the items so you guys can get a feel for how expensive things are. Real quick, for those of you who are brand new to my channel, welcome. I upload one to two videos a week all about living healthy. For my returning subscribers, thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Do you like the way you love? Distance from above, dignified, extra, extra light. Do you love the way you walk? Live the way you talk, just fight, miss the mysticized. He says, secrets underneath, puzzle has to complete. Come on over Get to know me I'm afraid Find a way to relate Why don't you come on over Let me show you Take my hand And just stay to my head Is it, is it hard? Is it hard to empathize? Out of the covers Into another side Costco and it was so crowded. I should have known not to go on a Saturday afternoon, but it's the only time I could go. So I tried to get price tags and all the items that I showed you guys. And of course, all the item, items that I showed you, healthy items. And some of them really caught my eye. I didn't get everything that I showed you on camera because I don't have that much money. I did buy the essentials and my favorite items from Costco. So here we go, I have a lot to go over with you guys. By the way, if you hear like wrestling noises in the background, jumping, Yuma, <laughs> is playing, just woke up from his nap and he's full of energy and I don't have time to walk him right now. So he'll just have to be our background noise. You wanna say hi? Look how big he's getting you guys. He's nine months Ugh. and I can barely pick him up anymore. I gotta weigh him again. I think he's 55 pounds, um, but he's not gonna get that much bigger since he's a Vishla. You're gonna behave? Those of you who have followed my videos for a while know that I always get this at Costco. I do not buy this anywhere else. You can get it off Amazon. You can get it at pretty much any store now, even Target, but it's double the price. So vital proteins, collagen peptides. I put two scoops in my coffee every single morning. I find that it's the easiest way to get in my collagen every day and starts my day off with protein. Next thing I always buy at Costco Costco are nuts and seeds. I try not to buy nuts and seeds at the grocery store because it's triple the price of the grocery store. These hemp hearts, I think are like eight or nine dollars for this whole bag. Hemp hearts actually don't need to be organic, but Costco has the organic kind, so I just bought it. This is a complete protein, so if you're vegan, I would consider using this a lot because it is considered a complete protein, has all the essential enzymes that make up a protein. I 
I've actually never seen this at our Costco. I was so excited to see this because I always buy Brazil nuts at the grocery store and they're pretty expensive. And these are organic, which I was so happy to find. You should buy your nuts and seeds organic. Hemp hearts is an exception, but the general rule is all nuts and seeds should be organic because they are heavily sprayed with pesticides. Oh, and I probably should tell you guys, for those of you who are new, I eat a handful of Brazil nuts a day to get my daily dose of selenium requirements in, but you really only need to eat one Brazil nut a day to get all your selenium requirements in. Selenium is found in chicken. So again, if you're a vegan, you should be eating Brazil nuts. Selenium is very important for thyroid health and for, and for hormonal balance and for metabolic health. I also try to buy my apples at Costco. I go through phases with apples and fruit in general. Some months I am really into fruit, other months I'm really not. Some months I'm into apples, some months I'm not. So recently I've been really into eating apples every day. They have a really good price on organic apples. Apples are on the dirty dozen list and so you should be buying them organic. If you can't buy your apples organic, then of course wash them with my favorite vegetable wash from Trader Joe's, but really any vegetable wash will do because you really want to make sure that those pesticides are off the fruit before you eat it. And of course the reason why I am so into not eating pesticides is because it's really bad for your hormonal health. So for me, of course, I deal with all these hormonal imbalances. That's why I'm going through IVF. And eating pesticides over a long period of time is shown to throw off hormones. It's a carcinogen. It can cause a lot of health issues, especially gut health issues also. So I do try to buy all of our produce organic that are found on the Dirty Dozen list. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with the Dirty Dozen list, just Google Dirty Dozen list and you'll find a list of all of the produce that are heavily sprayed with pesticides that you should be buying organic. Avocado, you don't have to buy organic. Costco just has the organic kind. That's their only option, so I got it. These are, this is guacamole. I actually meant to buy the little individual guacamole packets. I ended up buying the whole jar, which I didn't need to buy. I think because they were right next to each other, so that's okay. Josh and I eat a lot of avocado, so we'll go through this. I tried to buy my bone broth at Costco for myself, but this one's for Yuma. This is not organic. I don't buy him the organic bone broth because he doesn't need the expensive organic bone broth. But I think bone broth is really good for dogs and puppies especially, so I still mix bone broth in with his kibble and he really likes it. Bone broth for humans is really good because it has a lot of protein, vitamins, minerals, really good for gut health and immune system. So if you buy bone broth, just make sure it's organic. Speaking of Yuma, I got him some duck treats. He loves duck. He's already had a couple of them. Another thing I always, always buy at Costco, I actually still have two bags, but I'm always afraid they're gonna run out or discontinue them. So every time I go to Costco, I always buy one. These plantain chips are delicious. If you like kettle cooked potato chips, you'll love these. Of course, they're gluten-free. The only ingredients are plantains, organic coconut oil, and Himalayan pink salt. Josh and I will snack on these at night on the couch or they're great for dipping. I need to read more about it, but I hear that plantains in general are lower on the glycemic index, so it's not gonna impact your blood sugar as much as like potato chips and those kind of snacks. I was so happy to find this at Costco. So in the last couple of videos, I mentioned that I've been really into keto cereal, especially a specific kind from Fred Meyer, and this one caught my eye. The ingredients are pretty good. The only thing that I'm not too thrilled about is it's not organic. The first ingredient is Catalina flour, which is pea protein based, and pea protein really should be organic. Peas in general should be organic. But everything else, the ingredients are really good. It's sweetened with monk fruit sweetener. It's nine grams of, of fiber per serving and 11 grams of protein. So I've already dived into it. it tastes a lot like Captain Crunch, just not as sweet as Captain Crunch, but it's delicious. Highly recommend if you're looking for a low carb keto cereal, high fiber, high protein cereal. I pretty much always buy Perfect Bars at Costco. Josh and I will eat these here and there, especially in a pinch when we need like a small meal or a larger snack. They are higher calorie. Each bar is 340 calories about and 17 grams of protein. The only thing with these is I'm careful because they are higher in sugar. Each bar is about 19 grams of sugar, which is a lot. And it's all from honey. And there is a little bit of milk in here. And so they are not vegan. They're vegetarian, but they're not vegan. So I'm careful with these. Um, when I buy a protein bar, I try to buy a protein bar that has eight grams of sugar or less. That's sort of like my criteria. And I try to buy the bars with at least 12 grams of protein. These are over 12 grams of protein, but it's just the sugar content is a lot. So I'll eat a lot 
lot of times I'll eat just half the bar as a snack or if I'm like need like a heavier snack I'll eat these like post-workout if we don't have any meat we will go to Costco and stock up on meat meat is really quite cheap at Costco and they have like organic options and organic ground beef I just got bison this time bison you don't have to look for like 100% grass-fed organic because bison are already naturally gonna be grass-fed so you're pretty safe in just buying bison bison is going to be more expensive but Costco still has a good price on it just as a reminder to you guys you want to make sure that you buy your beef 100% grass-fed organic and all of your chicken like chicken breasts chicken thighs eggs even dairy you should buy it organic the product is gonna be a way higher quality way healthier for you probably should have showed you guys this after the apples but I try to buy my blueberries at Costco I've had really good luck with their berries a lot of times at the grocery store I'll buy berries and they're just mushy and just don't taste good but Costco has really they have really good produce by the way of course berries are on the dirty dozen list they're like number one on the dirty dozen list you really want to buy those organic it's hard to wash these with with vegetable wash too so just buy them organic if you're gonna eat them if you can't find berries organic don't buy them or buy them frozen organic and then you can just like eat them frozen or put them in a smoothie but I don't like to risk that high pesticide level in my system high quality fish is going to be expensive it is expensive at Costco it's even more expensive at the grocery store starting off with sockeye salmon this is pretty much the highest quality salmon you could buy this is wild caught and this cod is also wild caught I don't think I got the price tag on this in the previous clips I think this was $22 five fillets in here and this is expensive this is like 30 over $30 this is eight fillets in here you know fish is really good for you but it can be really bad for you if you buy low quality fish so if you don't have the money to spend on fish just it's okay don't eat it for now and spend your money eating other healthy items that are high in omega-3s but we like eating fish because it's really high in omega-3s and protein but you do want to make sure that it's wild caught and it's sustainably source those two things because the fish farming industry is also corrupt and if you buy fish that's low quality it's going to be full of mercury and pollutants so you don't want to eat that stuff speaking of fish comment down below if you want me to do a video specifically on tuna fish and how to buy tuna fish my youngest sister actually was texting me a couple weeks ago about like what tuna fish you should buy like is albacore the healthiest or yellowfin or blah 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 so i was texting her how to do it let me know if you want me to do a video specifically on like what canned fish to buy found these at costco i've never tried them before so i am excited to try these these are already cooked meatballs all the ingredients are clean it's organic chicken everything's organic in here nothing bad in these ingredients four meatballs 130 calories six grams of fat five carb 13 protein so macros are good so next to these were the vegan option of meatballs and i was curious so i flipped it over and i wanted to see the ingredients because i suspected the ingredients were probably not that good but sometimes i'm surprised and of course i think the first or second ingredient was soy and there's a lot of controversy whether soy is really good for you a lot of people are intolerant to soy just fyi so if i see a vegan meat I, I stay away from vegan meats in general because they're highly processed normally and you might as well just eat meat it's gonna be better for you than the processed vegan meats or just don't or stay away from meat in general pretty much all the ingredients were, were pretty bad and the oil that they use i can't remember if it's canola oil vegetable oil highly processed oil that's highly inflammatory so be careful when you're buying vegan like meat options because normally they're highly processed first or second ingredient is soy normally they're not organic normally they just add a whole bunch of like crap to it to make it taste good and it's just very bad for your gut health very good price on grass-fed butter I love the Kerrygold brand Costco has their own grass-fed butter brand but it actually has a higher water content in it so I just found that this one you get a bigger bang for your buck very very important that you buy if you eat butter buy it grass-fed I really really like this kind they also have an unsalted one so just like the meats the rule for the meats make sure that you buy your butter on grass-fed organic cashews I am a sucker for cashews I literally could eat this whole thing in one sitting cashews are my favorite nut so I just buy them to snack on because it's a healthy snack and it fills me up when I go to Costco I do buy coffee normally I buy their it's like a three blend organic coffee but I did hear somewhere that if you buy a blend coffee it's gonna be lower quality because I've heard that they just take like the leftover beans from like each 
farm area and package it all together. So the beans itself are gonna be lower quality. I don't know if that's true. Comment down below if you know anything about that. So they did have this like a one type of bean. This is not a blend and it's still organic fair trade. Really important that you buy your coffee organic fair trade. Unfortunately, just kind of like the chocolate industry, the coffee industry is very corrupt if it's not organic and fair trade. And the coffee beans are sprayed with pesticides if you don't buy them organic. Josh needed pinto beans. They didn't have pinto beans, but they had this like three bean blend. So he eats a lot of like beans and rice and burritos and stuff like that. And beans are very high in fiber and very high in protein. So again, if you're vegetarian or vegan, I highly recommend you eat beans. Lentils are super high in protein and fiber, really good for you. I am not a fan of beans. I, you'll never see me eat beans and rice. I just don't like beans very much. And I don't know why, because I grew up in Southern California eating Mexican food. I love Mexican food, but just beans, I don't know. I just don't like them very much. I don't know if it's the texture or the taste. I should like them because they're very good for you. Salt and pepper, so good price on bulk spices. Okay, and lastly, I always get our omega-3 supplements at Costco. I like this one because just like the fish, it's wild caught, it's only salmon oil, that they don't add any other ingredients to it. And I just think it's really important for us to have an omega-3 supplement every day. I just don't think we have enough of it in our food. It's really important for hormonal health, gut health, really your entire health of your body depends on the amount of omega-3s that you take in. Helps with inflammation especially. So I like this one. Costco has their Kirkland brand but they add chemicals to it and that's not really that high in omega-3s you're gonna spend a little bit more money on this I think it's 17 or 18 dollars for this jar but I if you're gonna take a supplement it needs to be high quality you can kind of tell the theme of this video is all about quality so yeah Costco is where it's at on the quality the organic stuff they're always coming out with new stuff or like bringing in new companies so I spend like an hour and a half just wandering Costco like oh that looks cool oh that looks cool so then I was like well I might as well bring you guys with me and film it too so hopefully that was helpful Always get quilt paper, paper towels at Costco because the price is just fantastic. I think the paper towels are $17 for a ton. So we don't run out for a long time and I can't remember the toilet paper, but everybody always needs toilet paper and some people can get away with not using paper towels, but we need paper towels. And so you might as well buy it in bulk at a good price so you don't run out. There's my Costco haul. There's most of my favorite things at Costco that I buy. The main other thing that I buy at Costco is their big sauerkraut tub because I think it's like a huge one of like seven or eight dollars. Didn't need another one this time, so I didn't buy it, but sauerkraut's a really good price at Costco. But yeah, that's it for my Costco haul. I hope that you enjoyed it. I hope that you found it helpful in some way. So next time you go to Costco, you can look for those items. Give this video a thumbs up because it really does help support my channel, helps me in the YouTube algorithms. Thank you so, so much for watching and always remember to be kind to yourself.